Pajamas! You know, I've been playing Smash for a really, really long time. Like, my entire life. And I think I've realized that that puts me in a unique perspective. Because I've played 64, Melee, Brawl, Smash 4, Ultimate, and even the fake one. The one you're not supposed to talk about. What if I were to rank every single Smash character from every single Smash game that has ever existed? Every single variation of a character. That's six Jigglypuffs. So I did the math. There's 271 of them. We're going to rank them. How? I don't know. I'm just going to rank them. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Join me. Shall we? There are, I think, two characters that are, I think, above anybody else. And these are characters that are like lifestyle choices that have frankly done irreparable damage to an entire generation. So much could have come of the average Melee Fox player. Think of everything that the, your local Fox could have been had they not played Melee Fox one time. And then that's their whole identity, right? Like, Melee Fox has become a cult in and of itself. And I think Falco is also in that group. They're both equally culpable for the brain drain that we've seen at a societal level, I think. Most Falcos end up switching to Fox. Then he's the gateway drug. This dude's weed. This guy's heroin. They're both bad for you. Well, I guess Falco's good in moderation. Never do Fox. IBDW left law school to play Fox. Another casualty. The youth of the nation is in peril. I will say, I started off with these guys in here. I think Brawl Wario is perfect. He's very easy to keep out, and he's not amazing, but he has his own game plan, and it involves cheating. I think they did a good job of expressing Wario's, like, distinct personality and the way that he operates in the game, you know? I think they did good. I think Ultimate Cloud is very well made. I think he's not oppressive like he was in Ult er, in Smash 4. I feel like they toned him down a lot. He's the model of a top. not Maybe not a top tier, but, like, a high tier. Ultimate Cloud is, like, a good grilled cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just... He's, he's very simple, but he is uh, refined to excellence. This is the perfect sword character. You feel me? Banjo-Kazooie, I'm very unhappy about, but that's just because I've been waiting for them for 20 years. I don't know what you could have done with them to make them better, but they're fine, I guess. They, they feel like a Smash 64 character, which is like, it feels correct, I guess. PM Rob. Now, hold on. Let me make this clear. I'm going to rank PM characters based on my knowledge of them. I played 3.02, and that's my experience of the characters. PM Rob is bad. He is very poorly designed. Every Rob player I know is a dork. And this is a character designed by dorks for dorks. Dash out, dash in, forward in. Dash out, dash in, forward in. Dash out, dash in, forward in. And you know it's going to happen, but it's so safe and he's going to keep doing it. It's obnoxious. I don't like it, and I hate it. But it's not as bad as the original Nintendo PSYOP Bayonetta. D Nintendo put this into the game, said, hey, you guys wanted it, and then killed the game. They released a lethal dose of poison into Smash 4 on purpose, I think. And that's not the same as Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight was busted, but I don't think it was intentional. It's also not the same as Fox. Because Fox is good, but at least he's fun. I think Bayonetta was designed from the ground up to be a, 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 a final middle finger. Ultimate Wolf is one of the best designed high tier characters, I think, in any Smash game. If you get hit and you lose to him, you know why you lost to him. It's very clear. It's transparent. It felt oppressive at first, but then people got good at the game. He's great. I think there's a, a special tier for uh, bad, but on purpose. I think a better way to describe this. Have you guys ever seen Kung Pao? We trained him wrong as a joke. That's what I think these characters are. Every Ganon? <laughs> I think that's every single Ganondorf. I think Melee Ganon is... Actually, hold on. No, he's just bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's bad because he's he's Falcon. All right, you know what? Why is this a clone? Where is this little prick? Get the fuck up here. This character is so cringe. PM Lucas is a disaster. Dare, 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 dare up smash. Oh my god, he charges up a smash attack just like his game. That shouldn't be a mechanic. He gets to keep the charge if he hits it. Why did you make him do that? Falcon. Falcon's weird. Brawl Falcon is... He's in the wrong game. I think if Brawl Falcon is in a different game, he's fine. But he's just... He, he can't exist. 
here. There's a whole bunch of Smash 4 characters. Let's go there. All right, let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> There's a bunch of Smash 4 characters that belong in this tier. And that's this guy who just fishes for late up air into knee. Uh, that's this guy. <laughs> Good heavens, it's definitely this guy. <laughs> Smash 4 is full of these guys. These got wait, where is he? Where? There he is. <laughs> It's just rage monsters, really. These characters are so funny. These are hilarious. Take me back. You want this back, Mr. Uptilt? <laughs> Brawl Diddy is actually LMAO because, because he can't... Brawl Diddy can't kill you until 200, but you'll never hit him. <laughs> you will never hit him. The character that I always think about in terms of not changing at all in between games is Villager. In Smash 4, I think he's fine. In Ultimate, he's the exact same, but he's in the a different game, which is the wrong game for him. <laughs> the right game was just Smash 4. He should just go back. He should go back to that game. I think Ultimate DK is well made. And I think a lot of people are gonna be mad at me for that because they're like, oh my god, his recovery, why did you why did you make it worse? DK is not supposed to be good. Good. And I think if Donkey Kong is good, you have a problem. Which brings me to PM Donkey Kong. Dude, I, why can he do that? This is a lot of strikes for PM here. I don't know if you've noticed this. Bro just puts you on his back and then a boom. And you die at 60. Just make the tier list PM bad, asshole. Hold on, there's one PM character that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Wait just a minute. Wait, just, let me bring him all the way up here. Ascend uh, him into well-made, actually. I don't think he's perfect. You're a bastard with an insane bias. Listen, bite is tremendous. It's my favorite move in maybe any Smash game. I think bite is so cool. Now, Steve. <laughs> That's where Steve goes. Down? No, no. Steve goes right here. Steve goes right there. This is where he lives. This is his house. These are characters that are just assholes. <laughs> this character is, is such a little piece of shit. But it's not like LMAO. They're going for one thing. It's just like, dude, what? <laughs> Why are they made like that? PMDK is kind of like that, actually. Yeah, actually, PMDK is kind of like that. That's true. Oh, dude, hold on. Yeah, Brawl Falco and also Smash 4 Luigi is what an asshole. Ultimate Luigi is what an asshole. Melee Luigi, though. Hold on. <laughs> I had to give that to him. Yippee! <laughs> I love Melee Luigi. Smash 4 Cloud? Ooh. Chemical X? Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I think we have a whole tier of characters called Chemical X that were not supposed to be in the concoction. <laughs> they got added later and it broke it. And I think Kazuya is there. Kazuya is the, uh, is, is sort of the singularity. You know that idea? When, when the first sentient robot is born, he is going to, uh, kill everybody that did not help him to be born. Kazuya is that. We kept flirting with this idea of an FGC character that could kill you in one combo. That's, Kazuya is now here, and he kills you in one. Roko's Basil Basilisk, that's the one. I thought it was a singularity. That's not the same thing. Get these assholes in there too. Are these, wait, is this Corrin in Smash 4 and Corrin in Ultimate? Oh my god. They really don't care about this character at all. PM Pit kind of feels like a psyop to me in a weird way. <laughs> It's like they took a very boring character from Brawl, and PM devs were like, hold on. What if we made this guy the biggest piece of shit in the game? Fan sigh up. I can't believe we need another tier. <laughs> okay. You asked for that tier. I didn't want that. I think every single pit is in the wrong game. Because I think every single pit is supposed to be an all-rounder that is at least high tier. I think in a normal fighting game, this archetype with projectiles, with guaranteed setups and combos, with pretty good multi-hits across the board, like, Pit has everything he should need, but it's just, it doesn't work in Smash. Now, hold on. There's been, <laughs> there's been a lot of talk in the chat about one character in particular. A lot of people have been talking about one character in particular. There's been a lot of discussion. That's Incineroar. 
who is well made. <laughs> no, you were wrong. Sorry, chatter. Incorrect. You know what's crazy? I think Mario, generally speaking, is pretty well made. I think Smash 4 Mario, it, well, <laughs> well, actually, I forgot about the up tilts. I forgot about those up tilts. Wait a minute. Yeah, Mario's a, Smash 4 Mario's an asshole. I think K. Rule is bad on purpose. He's supposed to feel like this big, dumb boss fight, and then once you figure him out, he you can't lose to him. He, you're playing as a boss. <laughs> Brawl Meta Knight is actually in the wrong game. Come to think of it, he shouldn't be in there. Chemical X? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. What does Chemical X mean? It is, it's an ingredient that ruined the game, but not on purpose. Like, they added something, and it just, it, it kind of fucks stuff up by accident. That's different from Bayonetta, which I think was fully intentional. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Speaking of Chemical X, oh, God. Wouldn't it be cool if you could control two characters? Oh, don't worry. We'll get rid of that whole wobbling thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think PM ones are his fan side out. Oh, wouldn't it be awesome if handoffs and wobbling was really cool? No, it's still not cool. I need more perfect. I need more positivity in here. Who's perfectly designed? Oh, I know. Oh, art. Brawl Marth. Despite him being an asshole to... to Brawl Ness, who I loved, is is just so fluid. While we're talking Marths, I think Smash 4 Marth is... I don't know if I'd call him well-made, because, like, he he's so cheesy, but he it's, like, in self-defense. Like, it's not that he wants to kill you at 50 with a tipper. It's just, if he doesn't, you're going to kill him at 60 with a forward smash. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like he, he does it because he has to. Uh, back to Foxes, I think Ultimate Fox, um, is an asshole. I don't think Dash Attack should be allowed to do that. I don't think Ultimate Fox should, uh, sh I don't think he should be able to heat check you on every landing, no matter what. Melee Falcon. I think Melee Falcon is actually very well made. And I know that everybody says cringe, blah, 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 he, he just runs away, whatever. But I think Melee Falcon straight up, like... The reason he gets so much love is because, like, he's striking when you first see him. And even years later, he's really fun to watch. Where is Pokemon Trainer? Bring that ass here. <laughs> oh, the all of these guys are Omega Labs. All of them. Squirtle? Brawl Squirtle is such a meme. It'd be so good if he could just detach. Yeah, well, he can't. He's so sleepy. <laughs> all right, let me get this out of the way. I love Brawl Ness. I love Brawl Ness. Is he perfect? I think he's well made. He doesn't, he just doesn't deserve to be in this echelon, I think. Bro, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even think of it. I didn't even realize that that is definitely where he goes. He actually, I think, deserves his own tier. He's kind of a bigger asshole in this game. And actually, uh, while we're here, because the, honestly, uh, these two get compared a lot. Melee Sheik and Brawl DDD have a lot of similarities. They're just like the tier list bouncer. Melee Sheik is cool. Yeah, I mean, she's... I'm not saying that, like... Well, DDD's cool, too. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Come on. Smash 4 Jigglypuff is... <laughs> that's a fat LMAO. I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, oh, wait. That wasn't Smash 4. That was Ultimate, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't tell them apart. They're the same! Ultimate Jigglypuff is... Actually, I think pretty well made. I think they did a pretty good job with her. She does what she's supposed to. Yeah, like she's not good, but I don't think she's supposed to be. P. Oh my God, Ultimate Pichu. And and this is sort of Ultimate Pichu has been through so many changes in in different directions. But oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> what were they thinking with this guy? Chemical X, you think? Kinda, yeah. No, I feel that. He's Chemical X, and then they took it out. They're like, oh shit, and they were able to, to extract the Chemical X from the concoction. 64 Ness was very fun, but I think he's in the wrong game. Cool, but doesn't work. And and who else is that? Melee Roy? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I feel that. And actually, that's not the only one. Dude, I thought Smash 4 Roy was gonna be so good. Smash 4 Roy is such a cool idea, it just doesn't function. I think Brawl Sonic is cool, but he doesn't work, actually. Isn't he good? No. <laughs> Sonic is very bad in Brawl. 
This one's an asshole. Ultimate Sonic, I, I kind of want to get... This guy is a complete... He goes in the front. This guy's an actual piece of shit. Smash 4 Sonic is, is not a good person. Ultimate Sonic is, I think, a little better, but not... He's, he's bad. As in, he's bad designed. He's badly designed, but he's not an asshole. Uh, Brawl Wolf is, uh... <laughs> Brawl Wolf is LMAO. <laughs> he's, he's trying so hard. He's really trying, and it just doesn't work. Greninja is, uh... Why is this a clone? And don't tell me he's not a clone. He's Water Fox. Everybody's saying he's Water Sheik. No, no. You fucking imbeciles. Fox and Greninja are so similar. It's just landing with an aerial and trying to connect it into your smash attack. He has the same game plan as Fox, but it's just straight up worse. We don't have enough time for you guys to argue. Greninja is spit Fox. Min Min. Oh, Min Min's an asshole. No, I think Min Min's Chemical X. I think Min Min, they were like, uh, they were like, let me try this. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. <laughs> Damn. I haven't seen Brawl ZSS in a while. My bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did, <laughs> why did they do that? <laughs> why did they make that? That's so weird. Is she perfect? I don't think she's perfect. She's very well made, though. She looks perfect. <laughs> the throwable items thing is so weird. Why did they do that? But it's so cool. What the fuck? I hit, I hit page down, and I still had OBS open. Whoops. Ridley is, is actually, I think... I think Ridley is trained trained wrong as a joke, actually. I think Ridley, they finally put him in the game. They're like, all right, motherfucker, you're not that heavy. The, the, your up B only goes like three ways. Oh, uh, y'all are going to hate me for this. Yoker. I think Yoker is well made. I think he's really cool. I think he's well designed. And I think he's a good top tier. I think he's a very cool top tier. I like him. I mean, Hero is literally LMAO. But good. <laughs> actually, actually, I think so. Because this character is a goofball on purpose. They gave him 30 special moves on purpose to be stupid and RNG. I think he's built wrong as a joke, but not in a bad way. I think Hero is a sick design. Brawl Snake. <laughs> he's an asshole. Yeah, Brawl Snake is an asshole. We'll put him next to PM. But in a different way. He already is going to live 100% longer than you, and he still won't engage. He still is running away. I don't get the criteria. <laughs> well, you will, okay? I think we all understand what's going on in this tier list, right? You guys understand how this is being tiered now. We're all in agreement, right, guys? Stick around, chatter. <laughs> Melee Jigglypuff. Are y'all ready for this one? In a game where every single character is the stupid cocaine ass running around mashing every button this character i think for how unique it is dare i dare i she's not perfect she does kind of break the game but i think she's very well made this is a doesn't play melee opinion correct <laughs> listen 90 percent of melee players will put her in chemical x i think jigglypuff is cool as shit because i think she's distinct and unique in that game Kirby, Melee Kirby is trained wrong as a joke. Straight up. It, uh, he was he was trained poorly. Smash 4 Kirby doesn't work. Kirby in general just is... is... lost. <laughs> Smash 4 Pac-Man. Cool. Doesn't work. Ultimate Pac-Man is well made. Dude, there's not... How many Pac-Man are doing it big? Everybody just sees one Pac-Man and like, Oh my god, he's just running away, blah, blah, blah. He's difficult, dude. Who the fuck decided that Rob should be a perennial top tier? Who's, who thought that this guy should ever be good? I don't like what's happening. This whole propaganda. The, oh my god, it's a PSYOP. Now that I, th I was going to put him in Chemical X, but I think Rob is actually going to be a PSYOP because they're like, oh my god, the, the, remember your roots. Because I feel like Ultimate Rob, they went too far. Smash 4 Rob was annoying enough. Smash 4 Rob is an asshole. But at least he's not busted. Smash 4 Ness. Boring. I am a-sleeping. Do you guys know? Okay, so every once in a while, a new term will come up in Smash, uh, sort of Smash buzzwords. But one of the terms that really came about in Smash 4 was brain dead. 
Brain Dead in Smash 4 got really popular because of this guy. This was the Brain Dead poster child. Brawl DK is uh, <laughs> a fat LMAO. Brawl DK is hilarious. Dude just spins. He's very funny. He's just, he's, he's an up B and a leg. Melee Donkey Kong, also a fat LMAO. He's just Mr. Headbutts. <laughs> I think Melee Dr. Mario is really well made, actually. I think he's really cool. Perfect? I mean, I would say so, but I'm not a Melee guy. I think Melee Doc is really sick. I love Melee Doc. I think he's incredibly fun to play, yeah. Ultimate Doc is... Now, he's cool, but he doesn't work. Again, I get what they're going for. Like, they want him to be a powerhouse. They want him to be able to kill, but like... Is just not quite there. Smash 4 Wario was trained wrong as a joke, absolutely. They were straight up like, hey, what if he had one move? <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if Wario had one thing and one thing only? I think I might need another tier. Now, I may have missed some people that need to go in here. I kind of think Duck Hunt's going there. Like, who is Duck Hunt for, right? And I think Yoshi, Brawl Yoshi especially... I don't, it's, it's really strange. He's so weird. Honestly, bro, Melee Yoshi is that. There. <laughs> that's who that's for. The one guy. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about Game & Watch. Ultimate Game & Watch? What an asshole. Game & Watch has kind of been an asshole for a while. Brawl Game & Watch, I think, is a cool idea, but it didn't really work because of Meta Knight. He was like a glass cannon type. And, uh, he just didn't really function because Meta Knight was everywhere. Me Gunner. <laughs> what kind of miserable soul wants to play Me Gunner? You already have Samus and 50 other zoners, especially in Smash 4, which introduced Duck Hunt, Villager, Mega Man, Pac-Man. Like, you already have all of these characters that are, that just throw projectiles. Why do you want another one? Brawl Lucario is funny. Funny character. That character is hilarious. He just kicks. <laughs> Down throw, fair, fair. Smash 4 Lucario, funny. In a two-stock game, he's at the top. He is Omega Lamau. Sora. Uh, I don't know who Sora's for. What does he do? Like, he, uh, I think he just doesn't work. I don't think he's cool, but doesn't work. I just think he doesn't. I am asleep. <laughs> Never mind, he's boring as hell. He's in fan psyop? No, because fans didn't make him. Though. Ultimate Lucina, I think, is very well made. A lot of people say she's boring, but I think she's great. I think she's great because she's so boring. I think Ultimate Lucina is, like, so basic that it's interesting. Because so many other characters are so wacky and out there. Toon Link! Yo! <laughs> Toon Link in Brawl goes crazy. I think Toon Link in Brawl is really cool. I think... Shulk. I think it's a neat idea, a fighter that can change his attributes, but I don't think he works. And everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, the potential. Some players make it work. He doesn't. This character doesn't have it. This character has been Mr. Potential for eight years. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Brawl Olimar. This is Chemical X. Brawl Olimar is Chemical X as fuck. What if we had a character that could throw projectiles from full screen and have six of them and then they do a lot of damage? That's Nuts. Who gave him so many Pikmin? <laughs> Who thought that was a... Just give him a hundred. If you're gonna give him six, you might as well give him a hundred. Dude! Smash 4 Peach, I think, is very well designed. She's like this floating bruiser. Like, I, I think the direction they took Peach is super interesting. Ultimate Snake. I think he's kind of Chemical X in that he was introduced to a new generation. I think Snake dipping out for a game made him really fucked up when he came back. Smash 4 Mewtwo was uh, a fat LMAO. That character's Chemical X, never mind. They put Mewtwo in the ga game, and then Abadongo is like, wait a minute, what if I just uh, air dodge? <laughs> what if I just go ledge to ledge and just mash that motherfucking Shadow Ball? <laughs> uh, Smash 4 Samus is LMAO. That up B? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Dash attack up B. LMA, I'll put her with the Smash Warheads. Alt Charizard is an asshole because the guy who's playing him 
has basically conceded that if the match continues to go this way, you are going to win. So it's either back throw, back air, or a flare blitz. He's just straight up like, all right, motherfucker. <laughs> You're in the danger zone now. I'm changing the rules of this game. Oh, dude. Smash 4-0 soon. <laughs> wow! What an asshole. Piece of shit character. All right. Ultimate Zero Suit is just... Honestly, I think she's badly designed. Okay, let me be clear. I don't think the character is bad. I think her design now isn't good. She's cool but doesn't work. Ah, I think it, that's better. I think that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Isabel is... I think she's... Why is this a clone? I would have liked her to be a little bit more distinct. PM Luigi is funny. The fact that you can store a misfire charge is very funny. That's LMAO. Pyramithra are... I actually think they're here. Because I think the same way that Kazuya represents the logical endpoint of the FGC conversation, Pyramithra represent, like, all right sword characters and neutral dominators taken to their total extremes. This is a sword character that will fundamentally and just by the nature of existing, sort of win every interaction and do 40 to 50 for it. <laughs> it looks flashy, but really it's just it's it's down tilt to up air, like every other character does. Smash 4 Meta Knight. <laughs> a two-move Timmy. That's a two-move Timmy. Go back up in the Smash 4 tier with your boys. There we go. <laughs> Ultimate uh, Pikachu, I think, is mad overrated, bro. I gotta be honest. I think he's a well-made character. Everybody whines and says he's top three and so oppressive and, and broken, but, like, there's none of them. Oh, dude, Ultimate Roy. How do we go this far without Ultimate Roy? I think he's really well-made. I think it's really cool to have a character like this. I don't think he's perfect. Don't think he's perfect. I think that side B needs... Somebody's got to answer for that. Somebody at Nintendo needs to, needs to be held accountable. Smash 4 Sheik. <laughs> what an asshole. What an asshole. Down throw the up B 50-50? I hate that. Terry. <laughs> Terry is LMAO. Yippee. That's good. That's really funny. Terry is also in the yippee tier. <laughs> We did it, everybody. We made a tier list of every character in every Smash game. Every variation. And you know what? Honestly, I think we did a pretty good job. What do you mean, copium? Stop. It was great. It went well. And it's their problem now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What have I done? What have I done? I've created a monster! This is my problem! <laughs> I just set this out into the world! Hey, if you guys want to read it, remember to right-click, open image, and new tab.